Welcome to an episode of Passionpreneur TV. Today I'm here with the absolutely fabulous Chantelle Schutz. Hi, Chantelle. How are you? Good. Good. Please tell us a little bit about you and how you became an entrepreneur. Well, I am an accountant by training, and I actually have a degree in entrepreneurial management, which happened entirely by mistake. Well, it wasn't planned. Um, and I was working at a bank and not wanting to make $11 an hour for the rest of my life. So all the clients that came in that seemed to have a lot of money, I asked them what they did, and they were either a lawyer, a doctor, or an accountant. And I knew doctor was completely out of the question. <laughs> and I thought, well, lawyer, I've always wanted to be a lawyer, but I was on my own and needing to pay my own bills, and it didn't really seem like a feasible thing. So I became an accountant. I got a, a commerce degree and um, left the bank after my degree and moved to Vancouver and worked for a big accounting firm. and. I became an accountant. So I did that for very many years and a variety of different roles, teaching at um, BCIT, and um, I was the CFO of a mining company. I was the CFO of a very large private company here in the Lower Mainland that many people know. And uh, my daughter got sick, and it was a little bit difficult to manage you know, the, the career and the family, so I decided to leave my career and start a little nail salon with a girlfriend. Oh, really? So that's yes. how Cloud9 was born? That was how Cloud9 was born, yes. So um, now you've been in business for a few years there. Um, you have an academy in there. Yeah, we're training people to be nail technicians and estheticians. Mm -hmm. So we started out with five pedicure chairs, five manicure cha stations, uh, 1,300 square feet, and now we are about 2,600 square feet. We have a full medical spa. Um, medical estheticians, we do hair now, lash extensions, and we have just started our academy. And I've also started coaching and, um, and doing advisory work with other business owners. Very cool. Yeah. Because yeah. a lot of times, don't you think, that company owners and companies in general just aren't really clear on where their money's going and what their strategy is? Um, a lot of small businesses in Canada, like you hear the stats all the time, they never make it past three years, I think it is. Yeah, it's three to five um, years. Yeah. yeah, three to five years. And, you know, I have my own business as a testament to the fact that I actually know how to use numbers and data um, in order to build the company, grow the company, expand the company, see what customers want, see what they don't want. So I think what I do is kind of two or threefold. So first of all, I help dispel the myth that you need to be really good at math or Excel or QuickBooks or anything like that to use numbers in your business. So we overcome that sort of feeling of overwhelm. Mm -hmm. And then secondly, I help you and I teach you how to use numbers, whether it is accounting numbers or how often are customers coming back or what percentage of customers that came for one visit come back within 30 days or 60 days or 90 days, whatever the case may be, but how to look at those numbers and use them strategically so that you're using them to create the future rather than just looking at them and going, oh my gosh, we didn't make enough money last month or last year and how are we going to keep our doors open right. or how are we going to grow or how am I going to hire that extra person I need in my business so that I can focus on what it is that I do the best. A lot of the times it has to do with strategy. So um, first of all, understanding your pricing is really super important. I'm working with a client right now and I told her straight off, I'm like, you need to put your prices up. And she's like, oh no, 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 I, like, I, I can't do that. And I'm like, no, you need to, because I know what other people like you are charging. It's two and three times as much. And mm -hmm. you're killing yourself working for these people that aren't valuing what you do. And what you do has a ton of value. I got a text message from her last night saying I had a really difficult conversation, what I thought was going to be a really difficult conversation with a client, and I told her I had to put my prices up. I expected she was going to fire me, but she said no problem. Now, the only reason that this client was able to have that conversation with her client is because we spent a number of hours going through her numbers. And, you know, when you sit down and you, um, and you can map it all out and realize, oh my gosh, I'm making $12 an hour. Right or whatever the case may be, I could have been staying in my corporate job making 25 with my benefits and my pension and my this and my that and my that. People then they start to get really real with what am I actually doing and what do I really need to charge? But a lot of people don't do that activity. They don't 
track their time for three or four weeks and say, how much time did I spend doing this and this and this, and how much did I actually make? So how do you work with people then? So they would contact you and they would be like, yep. Chantal, I need some help. Yep. So we do sort of what we would call a diagnostic or a diagnosis of sort of what's going wrong in the company, what's not working, mm -hmm. where they think the pain points are. So I will look at how much do I think we can move things for you and what's that going to be worth to you. What are you really passionate about? I'm just really passionate about seeing people and the light bulb going off and them going, oh my gosh, I can do that. Yeah, I can do that. Where they thought that they couldn't achieve something before and I can help them light that fire, mm -hmm. create the path, and then they're like, I never thought I could do that. Yeah, I can do that. I'm going to do that. We were just talking about how when people really want to have meaning in their work, um, sometimes they feel like they can't financially be doing awesome because yeah. it's kind of like when you're being a humanitarian or you're being really heart-centered or you're giving, giving, spiritual. giving or spiritual, <laughs> you can't make a lot of money. And you and I are totally clear that that is not the case. Absolutely. That it's, what is it? Well, if you're, if you're, <laughs> we're both so clear. What is it, Chantel? <laughs> if your passion in life is to help other people, you need to get paid to do that because you need to be able to put your roof over your own head, feed your children, put clothes on your back, have the things in your life that you need that are mm -hmm. important to you. Totally. Exactly. So it's okay to make the money that you're worth in your business. Even if you're doing good things. Even if you're doing good you things. You should be doing good things. Right, and then you can use that money in a variety of ways, one of which is taking care of yourself, growing yourself, bringing new people into your business, and going out and doing humanitarian work. Or, you know, there's sometimes I will discount my services to a client because I know they really, really need what I have to offer. And I expect them that they're gonna pay it forward. Mm -hmm. So. It's okay to get paid what you're worth to do really good work. Mm -hmm. Totally okay. Question about worth. That'll be a yeah. whole other segment because I think people have a really hard time um, coming up with their value. Yes. And their worth. Like, yeah. I don't know. I'm 150 bucks an hour. I'm 500 bucks an hour. Like, I don't really know. Yeah. And it's interesting because like a Tony Robbins or something would charge like $50,000 an hour. He doesn't even think about it as the hour. He thinks about it as the result. As the result. It's always about the result. And then what's the result worth? Absolutely. Very cool. So please get in touch with Chantal. She will she will help you get really straight and clear and feeling confident about your numbers, whether you know math or not. Yes. If you'd like to learn more about Passionpreneur TV, please drop us a line or follow our YouTube channel. And in the meantime, I encourage you to follow in your own heart's desire. And I'm Adara, and I dare you to get clear with your numbers, like now. Welcome to another episode of... Oh, you're not ready. Okay. I know. Okay. Well. <laughs>